What is going guys? My name is Will Signalis and welcome everybody to another video. So today is the day that I'm going to be showing you the best DaVinci Resolve settings in 2021 coming up to 2022. So let's get straight into it, shall we? As you can see the gameplay currently on screen, that is the quality that you shall be getting, by the way. So obviously, first of all, we've got to load up DaVinci Resolve. So we're just going to load it up. As you can see, a duck is on my desktop. So start off with a new project. So we're going to press Untitled Project and you're going to come up with this page. First of all, go to Edit and then we're just going to drag this clip in right there. Battlefield 5 is unplayable. Then press the Change and then we're just going to skim it down a bit to right down there. So it's only going to be about 30 seconds long. So first of all, once you've like edited everything, made sure all of everything is all good, you go to Deliver tab right down there. And then you change the location to wherever you want it to be rendered to. So for this one, we're just going to save it right there. And we're going to change the file name just to test. There we go. And press save. And as you can see, it has fully updated there. Test YouTube exported videos. Um, so the formula I do use, it's one of the best, is MP4. Basically, it's accepted by any format on YouTube, on freaking editing softwares, literally anywhere. Make sure it's on H.264. This is basically the only codec that you can use. I'm not too sure if you actually pay for um, DaVinci Resolve, then I don't know if you're going to get any more codecs, but this is the best codec I have found for all of my DaVinci Resolve videos. Resolution. So this is a big, big, big one, guys. So I always go on custom and then I'm going to type in 20 2560 by 1440 right there and there you go that's in the reason why i do render in 1440p is because you get a higher bit rate on youtube and you actually do get a codec called the vp9 codec and basically let's say if there's some text on the screen 1080p 60 fps max bit rate you might not be able to even like see it it'll be like all smudged but with 1440p it absolutely looks beautiful you can do it in 4k as well but i do like the 1440p just because it's a good compromise of the quality like it's absolutely amazing i can't really tell the difference between 4k and 1440p file sizes is, is really really good as well once you go to 4k you're going from like 16,000 bit rate to about 50,000, and it just looks better than 1080p and it's also my 4k footage takes about 30 frames a second it can render at but for my 1440p it can take uh, like in between about 80 to 90 frames depending what the scene is a second so it renders about two and a half times quicker so for quality we restrict it to 16,000 bit rate i've done many many tests on this and basically you cannot see a difference so i've even I've gone as low as 10,000 and then 16,000 and then I did 20, then 30, 40, 50, 60. But in between 60,000 and 16,000, I cannot see a single bit of difference. These are very, very simple settings to go along. I know you might have thought it would be something more extensive, but obviously you might be able to render in like quick sync and stuff but no so we go go down the file um file again so there is test youtube exported videos single clip mp4 h.264 custom 2560 by 1440 right now i will put some bit rates that you should be using on the screen because obviously we're using 16,000 bit rate but if you're doing 720p 60 fps 1080p 60 fps 1440p 60 fps and then 4k 60 fps i will just put those on the screen right now so once you have done all of that make sure you're on automatic and frame reordering is ticked you've literally pressed add to render queue it's going to ask this because it's a 1080p file but we are rendering in 1440p so you literally just press add and then we're going to do a quick time lapse of the render so three two one we're going to render
And there we go. That is the whole render absolutely sorted out. I hope this uh, the guide has actually helped you guys because I know that so many people are using DaVinci Resolve now. It's becoming a lot more popular. I started using it since I was in college. Uh, they wanted me to use Adobe uh, Premiere Pro, but I was like, I'm not paying £30 a month for that. So yeah, I've been using that since about 2018, 2017. So I've been using this software for, for a couple of years now. I really enjoy using this suite it's amazing but if you want me to do any more videos or anything on davinci resolve then feel free but those are the render settings i literally use for every single video that ever goes onto my youtube channel i had an obs video a couple of days ago actually i think it was about six days ago um and that is my like obs settings and then i pulled it into davinci resolve and boom we're starting to edit but yeah that's about it for today thank you everybody so much for watching this davinci resolve video hope you guys are gonna have a good one peace out much love have a good one remember to keep dabbing on my haters see you later guys have a good one yo